What's up, NBA Live fans? This is Community Manager AJ, and I'm here to show you some of the improvements we've made to gameplay in NBA Live 15. In last year's game, there were some issues when it came to overall responsiveness in the control. Now let's take passing for example. Passing the ball around the court was sluggish at times, and it was difficult to execute a proper fast break. This year, we've improved the animation quality to help to alleviate this. Now you're able to zip the ball around the floor, pass out of tricky situations, and run a fast break with some of the league's most explosive offenses. We've also brought back freestyle passing to add some flair and style to your game. Dribbling the ball is an integral part of the sport. Last year we introduced a new system that featured authentic dribble moves based on a particular player's skill set. This year we've refined the controls to make pulling off these moves easier and have even given you the ability to execute them while on the move. In order to score a bucket, you have to be able to shoot. There were times in NBA Live 14 where you would miss a wide open look with a sharpshooter and then wonder why. This year we've introduced a new shot feedback mechanic to give users insights into their timing. Take a contested shot, release too early or too late, and the chance of you making your shot is diminished. On top of all that, there was a lack of animation variety when it came to contested shots, layups, and dunks, often causing awkward animations and interaction between players. To address this, we've added a new ragdoll collision system in the paint. This physics-based system allows for more organic contact going up for a dunk or layup. Now these are just some of the improvements we've made to the offensive side of the ball. For more information about NBA Live 15, be sure to follow us on Twitter, check out our website, and like us on Facebook.